Hi, this is Ravenfly1232 and welcome to uh, the Krakatoa Basics tutorial when using fume effects. Okay, let's start by creating the most basic uh, fume effects uh, simulation we can create just by dragging the fume effects simulation area. Let's give it some height and uh, lower the spacing so we get better quality simulations. I'm not going to lower it too much for the sake of simulation times. Next we go to Helpros and select our simple, simple source and place it somewhere in the scene. I think it's maybe a bit too big but uh, this is not a tutorial how to create something uh, wonderfully great looking thing is this is a tutorial about how to use Krakatoa. So now we check our fume effects simulation area and open our user interface where we have our options. Then select the object source and uh, by using this pick object tool we pick our simple source uh, 001. Now I'm not going to do any uh, great options here. Everything is uh, just by default here. And I'll click the simulate button. As we can see it will hit to the uh, top part of the simulation area. But it's, it's fairly good. And now here should be the mental ray uh, renderer. It's not pretty, but uh, what do you do? Next, we start by going to the uh, geometry and select the Krakatoa button in here and then PRT Fume FX and place it somewhere. Next, because uh, it's selected, but this is the creation tab, we need to go, go to the tab of this particular fume effects part uh, and select our source which will be this box. Now as we see it's a bit somewhere not so accurately so we use the option align PRT fume effects object to fume effects source like this and then we might want to subdivide region uh, seed in fire, disable limit, uh, gen generate emission from fume effects shader, uh, and of course, what was there? Why there is disable subdivision? Now we have our subdivision. As we simulate, uh, nothing has yet happened. The reason we haven't set our Krakatoa to be the rendering engine. The easiest way to set Krakatoa to be your rendering engine is to simply click on the Krakatoa button somewhere in the top part of your uh, Autodesk 3ds Max uh, GUI and uh, click on the Bring Krakatoa to Front. And yes and no, or whatever you use as your option. Then let's render it. You will get, uh, like I do, most likely this uh, box with all of these what happened thingies. I'm not going to use any logging, so logging none and this won't jump. And what do we get? We got a black empty box. That's because we don't have any lights in the scene. And here let's take from the standard lights the Omni light and I'll put it here so you will see what will happen. Now this is what we get. The light hits here and not so much in here. So what I would do is place the light in there and this obviously was a copy. Now 
let's see what happens. Well, it's better, but I would still use a few more lights, but it's slower. I'm sorry, I'll have to stop the recording. My phone is ringing. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. I would use more lights to get the whole scene illuminated. Uh, but let's go with this. Now, as we see, it's just some bluish goo smoke. That doesn't look uh, too good. That's because uh, we need to use emission. Here's the global renderer values, which were opened for, uh, for some reason. Normally you get to see this. Everything can be set here too. Uh, somewhere here are the... Uh, well, anyways, I'm going to click here because here where I found it. Uh, use emission. And uh, what this will do, we will get this yellowish uh, fire in here. It will be the same color as you have uh, selected in your film effects GUI. Uh, but now, because the smoke isn't that great, I'm going to just override the color and select something grayish. And try it again. Now here we see we got some better, uh, better resolution, as we see. But it still has these pixels, and it's not so. Uh, how could you say, um, fluffy and full of smoke? It's just few particles. Well, that's easily fixed by selecting the. Film effects uh, tool, Krakatoa film effects tool, and uh, creating more subdivisions. As you see, particle count just went uh, up, and because we have disabled the limit, we can get as many particles as uh, we want. Now let's try uh, try with the, these settings. As you see, it's already getting better. Uh, the light I there is less light, but we could. Take the the Omni from here somewhere. Oh well. And move it up somewhere here. And try again rendering. As we see now, it's more full of particles and looks uh, nice. But I'm still not uh, quite... Uh, satisfied with this. So I'm going to subdivide ev uh, it even more. Uh, but this will uh, most likely slow down your uh, real-time rendering and it will uh, start uh, jumping around with your mouse and uh, not displaying correctly. This is where uh, I uh, could uh, use the percentage, which is now 1, when it shows me uh, 8085 particles, but it's uh, really the same render will be. Now if I subdivide it even more, it will be showing me this many particles, but if I disable the percentage, it will start loading a lot of time, as you see. So percentage is a good option to use. You will see what happens, but it will be better looking uh, still in the final render. Now we're talking about the thingies, what we're get, trying to get here. The render looks kind of nice. Let's go closer. Yep, it still has in the close-ups these small dots, but it's still getting in there. Now the fun parts with film effects and everything else. We can change the colors of fire. How about blue one? Or maybe I use just key mode and get this even bluer. Like this. How about rendering now? 
now we got our nice blue fire and it uh, you when we use emission it will get some of these particles too light how about we just delete this omni tool you could see better this is what the fire looks now the next fun part you can do with your film effects is because this is a normal object we could use uh, different types of modifiers uh, like freeform deformers and how about we just make it look something funnier like this and now render it yep it deformed it. Now we can delete it. Or how about using Spirify? Yep, it will get uh, every particle uh, to these ball like shapes. Let's see what it will look like when rendered. Well, it's strange, but yes, it's artistic. And this is the way you can uh, change the uh, way how these particles are behaving after the simulation. Some minor fixing or just complete uh, screwing up with every setting you can just think of. And this concludes the most basics of uh, Krakatoa and film effects. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and like and comment. Ravenfly one two three two out.